How's it going everyone? Tynok here and this will be the final part of the Art Rocket League overlay series where we will go over some extra features that you can add in that I've seen in some other overlays. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this video is going to be a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two different overlays that I've seen on Twitch and I will help give you pointers on some to try to get some inspiration and how you will actually be able to develop these. So the first one here is if you are a casual or common viewer to the Rocket League World or Rocket League Championship series or the RLCS, you'll notice that this here looks very familiar. I took this screenshot here from the World Championships in the 2023. And here we're just gonna go ahead and break it down with some of the components that we do not have in our overlay. So the first thing you'll notice, it falls very similar to ours with the scoreboard here in the top, the player stats card here in the bottom left, and the boost meter in the bottom right. These are just some of the options that they do to, extra, to have some extra styling with it. You don't have to add these, but you are more than welcome to, excuse me, get some, to, to add in some custom designs, some extra tick marks on there. Whatever you so want to do, you can do that. So then the first thing that I want to jump in is the logos here in the top right and also the team names. So if you want, you can build an interface to your overlay that allows these to just be images attached to the scoreboard. So what you could do is here inside of your scoreboard, uh, your score bug wrapper and everything on the outsides here, you could very easily have this be the logos here in the square objects. So what you can do is you can either position these using the position absolute or the flex box as well as you can just break this down by component. That's one thing you can do there. The second thing that you can do as you'll notice here with their scoreboard is they have the series indicators here underneath the scoreboard. I'll show you this again in more detail with the U University of Minnesota overlay that I also found up on Twitch. But you can see here these series indicators are also here. You can position these using position absolute. You just add them here to your scoreboard component as well. Then a component that is going to be brand new to this that you are going to notice here is going to be the player boost meters here up in the top left and right corners of the overlay. So if you remember here inside of services, inside of our boost service, we have a function here that is called get boost circumference or get boost bar or sorry, not boost bar circumference get boost bar with so what this is going to do is this is what's going to allow it to com compute that sliding bar that we see are sliding here so for monkey moon how it's at 41 it will only fill this up 41 percent of the total bar here with rise you'll see he's at 77 so it's about three quarters of the way through and so on with the rest of the players you're also going to notice that rise is highlighted here since he's on blue team it highlights blue if atomic was high was being spectated his was highlight with an orange so you can add this as well it's very easy to follow as well with our kind of following similar style here where we are just going to get our spectated player for our spectated player for with the boost bar components in the top left and right we just see if that if the spectated player is equivalent to the player that we are highlighting or the player that we are showing their boost, excuse me. And if it is, we can change the background to a different color. With style components, you can use that with the props, but these are pretty much the key differences between our overlay and the RLCS overlay. Another overlay that I found is courtesy of the Gopher Esports Twitch channel for the University of Minnesota. So I actually had a lot of development in on this overlay. You can kind of see that some of the components are very, very simple compared to the RLCS uh, overlay. But you can see here, we follow a similar structure with the boost circle, the rectangle here for the player stats and the scoreboard. We also here have the player individual boost bars, but you see here that instead of me highlighting the entire bar here, I'm just going to put a little white tick mark at the end of it to indicate, hey, we are spectating this person, and that way then we can move around it like so. You don't have to copy this exactly. I encourage you to get creative, but you can see here we also have the series indicator. It follows a very similar layout to the RLCS overlay as it seems to be the most modern and familiar way for Rocket League players to watch broadcasts. So that was trying to be replicated just at a collegiate level. So otherwise then, these are pretty much the key differences. I inspire you to add it in your own features as you can see as well, how RLCS, how they have the face cams, that's very advanced. If you feel like a challenge, I recommend with the face cams. 
You can also add in your own logos. If your broadcast is going to have sponsors, you can add that in up here as well. You For the goal replays and uh, post games uh, screens, you can add in some stuff as well. Again, I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but just trying to provide some more inspiration on what you can do with an overlay for Rocket League. Otherwise then, this is going to wrap up the final video of this series. I appreciate you all for watching. Please be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you have any final remaining questions, and I will try my best to answer them in a timely manner. Also, please be sure to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on any other software engineering style videos and tutorials that I have or will have in the future. Also, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff as it really helps me out. Until then, my name is Titanhawk17, wishing you all a fantastic rest of your day, wherever you may be.